Hey guys, what's up? It's Xsuperist here, and today I'll be reacting to episode 9 of Oregairu. It's a lot more complicated than I thought, but yeah, it's actually making me very pensive. It's also making me a little bit exhausted just uh, watching all of this unfold. So hopefully a lot of these issues, a lot of the stuff that happened in the past will get resolved. You know, between Hachiman, Yui, Yukino, and all the other things. Uh, I, I don't expect this to be like a happy ending, but at the very least, I hope that it's going to be a reasonable one. So, with that, let's get on with this episode. Hey guys, before we continue with the reaction, don't forget to hit like and subscribe, and click on the notification bell so that you won't miss any new uploads. And with that, let's go back to the reaction. <laughs> yeah, her his little sister is definitely underhanded. But very good at uh, convincing his brother to do stuff. しかし、小町の依頼の気遣いにはマイル。さすがにこんだけお膳立てされて何もわからないほど鈍感じゃない。むしろ敏感な方が。敏感で過敏で過剰に反応してしまう。世の男子の8割は常にこいつを俺のこ
なんなら今夜のヒーローインタビューにユイガハマが呼ばれちゃうけど俺じゃあ軍法会議で欠席裁判レベルだよなんだよヒッキーって気使えるんだはあバカお前めちゃくちゃ使えるよ気使ってるから誰にも迷惑かけないように静かに隅っこにいるんだろうが<笑>そういうことじゃなくてさそのなんていうか優しいというかほうよく気づいたなそうそう俺は優しいんだよ今までいろいろあったが誰一人何一つ復讐せず見逃してきてやってるからな俺が波の人間だったら今頃世界は終わってるまであるある意味救世主だぞ What? Who's this? Ah, okay. Yukino's older sister? Oh my gosh. That's too much. That is too much. <笑>私のことなら春野でいいよ。それかお姉ちゃんでもか。むしろ推奨。で、雪下さんは。なかなか強情だね。可愛いな。雪下さんはうちの卒業生だったんですよね。うん、そうだよ。引き換え君の三つ
憧れていたのだ勝手に期待して勝手に理想を押し付けて勝手に理解した気になってそして勝手に失望する何度も何度も戒めたのにそれでも結局治っていない雪の下雪のですら嘘をつくそんな当たり前のことを許容できない自分が俺は嫌った Okay, so I guess I'm starting to understand a little bit what the dynamics are behind Hachiman and Yukino and Yui's pasts. But I'm not sure what Hachiman was referring to in the last scene, where he says he hates himself for having high hopes for Yukino. It doesn't seem like he liked her at all, but it could be connected with the, the accident in the past and. I'm not sure. I, I, I want to know a little bit more now because that's a, a, whole, a mystery to me. I, I guess it just, you know, he got into a, a car accident. I, I don't know what happened after that. Yukino was in the car. Yui was the one that Hachiman was trying to save, although he didn't really know. He wasn't acquainted with her back then, so we, it wasn't like he was doing it for her sake. That's what he's been saying, at least. So, anyway, yeah. Uh, mm, it's very heavy, and, and I, I just want to know exactly what's going through Hachiman's mind, and why is he just so. Why can't he be a little bit more honest with himself or with others? I mean, okay, I get it. I get it. It's, it's probably more of self preservation, right? He doesn't really want to get into. Complicated matters or trouble, but still, I, I I don't know what's what's going on with him and with Yui and Yukino either. So it's it's becoming a lot more dramatic. It's not really romance at all. There hasn't been anything romantic, actually, over the past few episodes. And to be honest, the only romantic vibes I'm getting is from Yui and Hachiman, even though he is. Sensitive toward that, he just doesn't want to pursue it. He doesn't. I, I don't even know what's what's going、uh, on in his heart. You know, does he like Yui? Does he like Yukino? Or or does he just resent everyone that was involved in the accident? Because everything that he's been doing or saying, it all seems just like a facade. He's putting up a front, trying to look, I don't know, cool or indifferent or just cynical. But, but that's probably because he, he pushed everything down, you know? So I want him to at least be a little bit more honest. I mean, he doesn't have to change all that much. I mean, change, you can still change. You're not necessarily doing it for the sake of others, right? Just like what he was saying in the previous episode. But you still need to change. You still need to change. That's just a fact of life. So you should just change for the better. And that's what I'm hoping Hachiman will do. But I don't know. He seems to be a very stubborn person and seems to be somebody who, who can hold grudges for a long time, too. But I don't know. Maybe he's already let go of that in the past. But yeah, it's just, it's, it's all very convoluted. I mean, it's, it's, it's a lot easier if maybe that's what the author wants to do. It's not just make everything very complicated and then let the characters figure it out for themselves <laughs> and resolve it on their own and like just throw every curveball at them until, you know, they're, they're begging on their knees. But anyway, eh, it's been a very complicated. And slightly suffocating ride for me so far. This is episode nine. There are three more in this season of Oregairu. And I can't really say that I'm enjoying it. I mean, I'm intrigued, but I don't completely agree with everything that they espouse. But、mm, so far, I, I guess you can say this is one of the more,、uh, the, the one that's closest to reality in terms of, you know, dynamics. In relationships, friendships, behavior, pe people's behavior, and all of that. So I give it that. Anyway, but I wouldn't say it's completely enjoyable for me. I mean, 
it's just getting a lot more co confusing and just weird like, like very heavy and, I, and like I, I was hoping that it's going to be like a romantic comedy but uh, there's no romance and there's little comedy <laughs> so ugh. so I guess it's living up to its title anyway thank you guys for watching and I guess see you in the next video <laughs> thank you guys for watching until the end of this video Click here to subscribe and check out these two videos for more fun content. See you in the next one.